it. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through, especially through what's going on now with the whole coronavirus. And it kind of seems kind of scary when I say it like that, but um, has anyone been to an Entra event? Nice, I know. I love you guys, thanks for coming. Um, but yeah, basically what we are, we're a tech company, so please look us up. If you have your phones right now, go to our Instagram and it's just join Entra. So you're gonna see the videos, you're gonna see our posts, and we'll tag you, and you're, we're gonna share it through the story. So yeah, do that right now. Give you some time. But um, unfortunately, we don't have the speaker for the spaces, so I'm gonna do my best and tell you about where we are. So spaces is an amazing co-working space. Like we work, but better. We work crashing, this one's not. And this one's booming. So if you guys want um, a really safe, place to hang out and to do work and get things like going instead of working at a coffee shop or working from home, you guys actually have a free day pass. So don't forget to pick one up. They look like this. And they're right over there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get started with our interviewer and our host, which is Nick Patel. Thank you so much for coming in. You guys have no idea. I love this person. He's a really good friend, and he's an amazing mentor. Uh, we met, what, like a couple months ago? Six Oh my nine, god, you're good. Months, yeah, months. that was in the summertime, rooftop, yes, rooftop, drinks. It was phenomenal. I think there was like even like a Bollywood like music video. Music video. That was crazy, good times. But yeah, I asked him, I'm like, hey, could you come through, you know, tell us your story, because your story is incredible. You know, and I love it. So why don't you actually, uh, let's start with that. How did you, yeah, like, did, were you born in India or here in America? I was born in India. All right, nice. So tell me, like, your transition when you came here. So I came to U.S. Uh, when I was 17. And then, uh, as always, all Indian dreams are to go to college, become doctor or attorney. So uh, I that wasn't in your cards? No, I, I tried, I tried, <laughs> but, but, but then uh, the reality matched because I, when I came and I was 16, 17, I barely could speak English. Mm -hmm. So reading is, was a little bit more tougher. Mm -hmm. And when I went to see the, all the application and everything, and it took me long, I said, this is not a realistic right. dream, let oh. it go. So then I started, I said, the only thing I can do is start from whatever I can get. Yeah. So I started first job that uh, was challenging because I come from decent family. We have easy going in India, so I wanted to take over whatever I can get. That was a job I supposed to work 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. So 2, to 2 a.m. Really? to 7 a.m. So basically five hours job. Yeah. And uh, they didn't they didn't had any what do you call? They didn't had any. Uh, space. So I said, just give me anything, like, you know, space, you know. Nice. So I said, squeeze, <laughs> me, squ squeeze <laughs> me in, you know. <laughs> squeeze me in. So when I get squeezed in, then they say, well, we can pay you almost nothing. I said, whatever. And also, I couldn't even afford bus, so I used to walk and come back. And from there, everything started. Nice. Because it's attitude, right? You yeah, want to do of something. Yeah, of course. Of course. So yeah, I silly forgot to mention, he is the CEO and founder of LA Tans. And I wanted to, you know, figure that out. How did you start that? So did it come to you? What did someone was someone selling it, and you just branched it out? So I started my journey. I wanted to make a movie, so I was in a video industry, and I, really? yeah, I built it around 60 video stores around Chicago land. It was, it used to call Line Video, Video Smidio, Video Adventure, video a few Adventure. different under name uh, in uh, Evanston, mm. but then videos disappear with uh, uh, technology and uh, yeah. Blockbuster was the biggest uh, competition, but we become top 17 purchasing uh, company in the entire USA. So with the Disney and Paramount and everywhere, we start getting a lot of respect and invitation. Yeah. The best parties ever I felt and enjoyed <laughs> it, you know. But after long work, I see the the dream is going away because I can see the internet and uh, downloading and everything will yeah. take away. So then uh, when you care for somebody and when you have good intention, so basically I had uh, decided that every my 
person who works with me becomes my partners and grow with me, you know. So that's how I made 60 Video Store. They all become my partners, you know. Yeah. And then uh, I see that now that it's going to go down, you know, because of internet. So that's when I started looking to do something. For like a new option. New You're like, option. okay, I got to act quick, you know. Yeah. You got to be ahead of the game. Yeah. So then uh, after that, did you sell all the stores? Did no, you I keep didn't. one of them because you loved it so much? You're like, no, I, don't go away. No, I didn't want to sell because if I sell, that I'm selling something's going to sink, right? Somebody's yeah. going to sink. So I don't want to sell that is uh, somebody's going to buy it and is going to regret and going to come and say, hey, I sold, I sold some not good. So mm -hmm. that's not what I, I wanted to do. So I wanted to cash out as much as okay. while I yeah. build. I build because uh, I knew if I can liquidate my video cassettes, whatever, VHS, those times, a DVD, I could make enough money as much as I would sell it to somebody. Yeah, but somebody's yeah, yeah, buying... Yeah. Then they have the dream that I'm going to make my future here, and that was not future. I can see it, so no point selling right. when future is not there. Well, yeah, it's like selling your baby. You don't want to sell your baby, you know. No. You worked hard for it, I'm sure. Yeah, and I knew it was going to end. So yeah. if I'm selling it, it's not making anything, right, mm -hmm. for other person who's buying it. Right, right. Yeah. So you, um, how did the LA tan just come to you, like, I'm still trying to after like the videos, and you're trying to you know get some cash flow, and you're like, okay. I want to get into hair and beauty, or you just saw that there was not a lot of tanning salons. So basically, every uh, every video stores basically we rent video cassettes for one day or two days or three days, right? Mm -hmm. And we make three dollars, and we take a risk to give customers, and sometimes they never come back with video, then you lose the video. So similar mm -hmm. business I was looking so. Uh, one, you can look at the hotel rooms, you know, if you have hotel, like space, right here, again. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. rent the space, you know, and they charge the things, you know. So that's what I, w I was in business, video business. So yeah. I said, uh, I want to do hotel, but then I saw per room comes out too expensive. Then I look into tanning. There was no such a brand at that time was any tanning brand, if anything. There was none whatsoever? In, in, in Chicago, there was Ultimate Exposure. Uh. He had a 16 location, you know, so... Uh, I learned from him, uh, I opened yeah. up, I tried to stay away as much as I can stay away from them because I learned. Yeah. But eventually, uh, like you know, the market changed and they left, they've gone out of business and we... Ooh, uh, so that was a perfect sweet spot for you. You're like, all right, no, branch no, no. out. <laughs> no, th at that point, it's already, the market was sinking because of the all uh, negative publicity about tanning, mm. uh, which, is, uh, it's, which is not true, we all need a little bit vitamin D, especially like, you know, if you want, in this corona times, you know, like oh, if, yeah, you, sure, of if you want to build your immune system, you need vitamin C, vitamin D, and the best way to get vitamin D is UV light, you know, and then pills, of course, but uh, those who take more than what they should take, you know, or sunlight or tanning bed, they're given bad name to tanning industries, and obviously a uh, few years was very bad news, you know, about mm -hmm. tanning, so it did affect our business. But then we got spray tan, and now we are yeah. trying to uh, uh, like educate customers how they should tan. What is this, uh, like you know moderation, right. and w what is like your skin type, and uh, it's people learning a little bit. But yeah, still, a lot of, of people don't have knowledge about it, so they'll stay out of sun. But they yeah. will they will go to vacation, and they will be burning themselves again that's not good mm -hmm. burning is a bad thing you know <laughs> but yeah so that's how we started but again those all uh, video partners that who I had they needed new opportunity and this was like a new platform like it's, yeah. a, it's a, like Titanic you know mm -hmm. if it's sinking then you get enough um, floating enough, uh, yeah enough boats uh, you know keep everybody going. <laughs> yeah, everybody goes on so we have 60 uh, video stores and we got a hundred and plus tanning salon now so we oh, almost doubled nice. up so yeah and how many states so chicagoland indiana okay. ohio wisconsin florida nice. okay cool and then um i know you've been on some new projects right now because like obviously you're a man that likes to do a lot of things you like to travel you like to look good and you like to you know kind of branch out so we got tequila we got fino we have your hair products 
Yes. And then what am I missing? Some restaurants, right? Yes. And I just found that out the other day. I was like, what? He's got three restaurants and he didn't invite me? I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, so um, tell me about the restaurants because I really want to go visit and I want to check them out. And why? Where, what it, like, where did this come from to you know, keep going? It's like, again, space. Like people like to meet and there is only places. Uh, it's like a Starbucks and it's like same thing, coffee and sweet. I wanted to provide some flavor, so I thought nice. anything has a flavor, so it's a Mexican food has a lot of flavors in it, you know. Indian has a lot of flavors in yes. it, but then luckily the tacos are very popular, and luckily we got named Taco Maya, which is very uh, short names. You know, has anyone and, uh, been there, Taco Maya? No? So we have, we, we have four locations. One is 823 South State, one in Gulf and Milwaukee in Niles, one in Bloomingdale uh, Lake, and uh, uh, Bloomingdale Road and one in Schaumburg on Roselle Road. So we have four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So I got it. I got like That's definitely a lot of have work. to go. Yeah. So work. tell me, how do you deal with the stress? How do you deal with balancing? Um, you know, because you have a family. And you had a beautiful daughter. Hello. She's recording. She's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, how do you balance family and work? Is my question. You, you gotta have a good team. It's yeah. all about team, right? And when you have good intention to take care of your team members and every team members you count as that they're your family or friends yeah. and uh, you want to look out of their best interest and before that consumers best interest then I think so it becomes a little easier if I get a little more greedier or selfish then maybe I'll get a lot of headache <laughs> <laughs> of course well that's good and then how do you stay relaxed because you are always so happy so calm so chill which is crazy of all the things that you do. I run, so I'm, I'm in real estate and I'm running around trying to meet people and sometimes you can see my face. I'm like, I had a long day. Every time when I see Nick Patel, literally like glowing. I'm like, how? Like, yeah. so like, how do you stay Nick uh, Patel? <laughs> I think the problem is in your, our mind. Yeah. So when you let your mind not take over and you let your mind know, what is right for you. So the reason you work, we all work, or we grow is first uh, to find money more so you get peaceful life, right? So if you lose a piece, that's when you gotta tell your mind, why am I losing peace? What I lost here, money or peace? So before money, you take your peace, then I think so. And uh, it's just a practice, I think. So I've been lucky, I've been meditating since I was a kid. And I tell people that two things, you know, uh, best advice is, Never think any negative about anyone. You don't want to be in a negative spot because it's not going to take you any better spot. Even if your business is going wrong, what can you do? Productive and positive things about your business, your friends, whatever it is. If it meant to be, then you work at it, you get it, get through and get successful. If it's not, then it wasn't meant for. for I mean, you, ca you cannot get everything successful. It's like Michael Jordan. Every time he thinks, I'm going to win the game last buzzer, it doesn't happen. But if he gets disappointment out of the game he lost, then he's not gonna go forward with next game because yeah. the disappointment stays in you, which is negative energy. And uh, the other thing I said, not to judge, you know, so sometimes you have team members, certain people do wrongs or try to be selfish and you judge, then you're taking your energy on a judgment. Instead of judgment, you try to see, see what I can get and what he's doing and what positive things. Right. If it's not matching it, then you go to next person who provides that most value to you whatever you're doing for them or your business you know so yeah definitely surround yourself with the right people yeah and you you're know? not going to get all the time no, yeah, no. very rare but you know yeah, take it what what comes of course um honestly that's something that i'm dealing with um obviously being in like a competitive world or real estate or any sales or yeah even you know just yet yeah, your regular you know nine to five and you're killing it you're going to find some negative people you know it's all about how you you deal with it um Currently, my um, my brother has uh, two people that he's working for, and he's like, they're not coming in, or they're slacking, or they're not motivating. I'm like, and he's telling me and telling me, and he's really upset. I'm like, Eddie, why are you wasting your energy? I'm like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, you're really upset because they're not showing up. They're there, they're there. That's not your problem, that's their problem. So really, like, yeah, be surrounded with the right people. Stay focused with you and stay happy and stay, stay awesome. positive. Yeah, yeah stay be positive. Al be alert all, all the time where your mind is taking you. 
Of Sometimes course. mind takes you the wrong way and you just dragged. You don't even know you're going through the stress, you know? Yeah, of course. Why don't we um, talk about maybe what was like the worst, very strong, uh, like a struggling moment in your life and how did you come out of it? Well, <laughs> like in business. When, I know, when you do 60 <laughs> video stores and all shutdowns, you know, yeah. then there is 60 times three problems because each thing's closed down. You minimum, you have three problems. The landlord's gonna sue you, this, this, this. So I think so, again, oh, yeah. like I said, whatever the best approach you can take. Like we had, one of the biggest thing gone through is where LA10, we have people who becomes our members or they buy a package. So oh, we thought about it, you know, we don't wanna use your account. Somebody else can come and say, oh, I'm so and so and use it, you know. So then somebody else losing money. So we talked to the software people and they developed a system called a fingerprint. So we got the fingerprint, so only people who can uh, take, uh, come and use your pr uh, account is only the people who has a fingerprint, you know? And so we know that, and we have girls working who's 18 to 20, they're not every time know the who's using someone's account or not. So we started fingerprint, which software approved it, the fingerprint machine, and we're doing it good intention to give customers protection, but that's technically and legally illegal in only in a uh, state of, a uh, few states, California, Illinois. Oh, within uh, like the video company to like scan and? No, if you take your fingerprint in uh, Illinois, it's a, become in 2008, I think, so that was not before the law, but 2008 law came that it's illegal, even though the technology was giving us uh, idea that like, you know, if you put your fingerprint, it doesn't actually get fingerprint, it becomes mm -hmm. in a code, it becomes a, a different number. But still, it's called biometrics. Uh, like, you know, we are taking your fingerprint, your identi identity, you know? So therefore, we had a like class action lawsuit for 48 million. So that was like, a, that was a scary, you know? That was like, a, I thought, here oh goes my all my work again, oh you know? So from, so from video to survive and coming to that point. But then again, uh, I knew it, that I have good intention. I want to talk to the, uh, prosecutor, the class action attorney who wants a lawsuit, who's from Chicago actually, he has scared mm -hmm. a lot of people, he has sued Facebook, Google, everybody, he's, he's very big known as a killer, you know, really? oh my God. he's a strong attorney, Wow. Oh, I mean, I'm giving him credit, even yeah. though he, <laughs> yeah. he's like, he's really good, call him here, da -da 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 -da. Yeah. we'll put it in the video, yeah. but um, my next question would be, what are things that you, I guess I can say, like books, do you like to read? Any books that are very like uplifting to you that you would definitely recommend us? Well, I've been blessed, I think, so I don't read any books, but because I told you that, you know. Oh, that's uh, okay. I, I had a problem reading, I, I told you I had a pro problem reading, but I think uh, sometimes if you meditate yourself, if you throw out sail uh, to universe and you know that you are nothing, I'm nothing, right? Somebody writes mm -hmm. a book, he's not the like, he's nothing, but he writes a book because he's connected with some amazing thoughts, and if your thought travels to the higher level and the universe, it comes to you, you know? Yeah. So I've been blessed mostly. Here and there I hear, and from that I developed, you know? Uh, and what do I, when I was a kid, what I read is just basically certain, like, you know, in, inspiring story from different things, like, you know, in the Indian, there is a Mahabharata, and there is like, you know, uh, Ramayana, and there is a Gita, so they have a basic, uh, a, a theme how you should live life and how you should um, and from there if you connect with higher energy then idea comes you know nice okay you know what I have to really be on your level on like meditation you always keep reminding me and I'm really slacking hard on that but I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit on Fino and might as well because I kind of work for Fino a little bit tiny bit so maybe we can put that plug in there so yeah tell me about you know Fino it's a an amazing tequila. By the way, do we have any cups? Can we get like two cups? Because we're about to take some shots. <laughs> Yo, I mean, the world's, you know, ending, so might as well <laughs> have a good time. So, so <laughs> yeah, right? Like, here you go, here you go, guys. So tequila is, um, I, I'm more scotch drinker and uh, wine drinker, so tequila was not my kind of drink. So one of them, farmer from Mexico, w was visiting, heard from someone to someone that, you know, uh, I, the owner of LA10, I'm the founder, so he feels I can make something good brand out of 
the agave and when he came to uh, meet me, I said, listen, I only will do something I love, I believe, and tequila, not the, I think up higher is the scotch and wine, this is what I used to think. But then, what more I learned about tequila and more I understood agave's benefits, then there is no a better alcohol than tequila. It's better than scotch, better than vodka, better than rum, not because I, I own, but if you go Google, and if you learn what's agave benefit, and especially when it's, the agave is not mixed with any sugar or anything else or added flavor, uh, this tequila is 100% blue agave. Uh, it's called Fino, which uh, uh, was brought named by my daughter and her partner, Jana and Sonali. First, I, was, I meant Fino by fine. The reason I give a name to Fino, the bottle, was a, that this is a fine, smooth tequila, you know, like a scotch. So that's why I give it as a Fino name. But then uh, they weren't happy with just a fine smooth. They wanted to find something else. Mm -hmm. So they, before that I tried with some other partner and the venture didn't go through. So they said uh, the Fino means the first time uh, Apollo 13, when I had communication with Houston, the first word was Fino, which is when they tried to reach the moon and they had some difficulty. And they said, if we land, we might not be able to be back again, you know. Uh, uh, so the first word they said, Fino, failure is not an option, come back, we'll relaunch, you know. So my daughter, Sonali and Jana said, okay, we'll relaunch, failure is not an option. So they give a name to failure is not an option as a Fino. To them, as a failure is an option. To me, it was a smooth bridge, which both goes along. So it is, it is an amazing uh, tequila. And uh, really since I started drinking, we're at RPM Italian, we're at Maple and Ass, we're at uh, uh, Hub 51, we're at uh, uh, Bounce, we're at Binnie's, we're pretty much everywhere. Yeah, so you can find it any Binnie's, yeah, yeah. Any, and, any club, yeah. yeah. And I recommend don't add anything, just add water, a few teaspoon water until you feel it's not too strong for you. I mean, it's so smooth, it should be fine with one teaspoon or two teaspoon water. Yeah, like no joke. Like you can sip on this, and that's crazy. Cause with tequila, I can't sip. Like I have to just shot it back and be like, mm, and make an ugly face. But uh, I think this that's would be smooth. a perfect time to start doing Q and A. So if you guys have any questions while we take our shots, cause you know failure is not an option, guys. So hashtag no Corona you over here. Question: Do you get a shot? Uh, no. Sure. <laughs> sure, you can have a shot. Why not? Why not? I'm saying like so we can get, answer when we keep drinking. Per oh, okay, question. okay. No, not not per question. It'll be. <laughs> I'll be drunk by the time I leave I, here then. I'm, you know? I'm fascinated by your, your story. Uh, I'm a business and life coach. And a lot of what you're talking about in terms of, you know, I, I was fascinated to hear, I don't really read books. I kind of rely on my connection to higher source. Um, I'd be curious to hear you talk a little bit more about that because that's a lot of what um, I talk about in my coaching in that knowledge is infinite and free and everywhere. It is everywhere. infinite. It is so infinite. if that's the case, why aren't we all crushing it in the world? And I think you're a great example of kind of relying on the innate gifts and skills that you were given and then using, leveraging knowledge to get you where you are. So I, I say to everyone, if you have an intention, intention. for other to do good, not for yourself, hmm. then things will come to you because as soon as you have intention, let's say I want to make money, right? And I said, because I want to drive Rolls Royce, I want to drive this, I want to be Lamborghini, or I want to have my condo pet, then I am going to do it for myself and that the energy doesn't bring it to you, thought or connection or the dot meeting, you know? That's my experience, I mean, and everybody has different experience. But uh, my first intention was I wanted to uh, build a nice house for my mom, my dad, my grandma. Everybody can live in one big house, so, uh, my grandma lived till 108 with me, you know, all the time. You know, my mom and dad lived with me, and my dad still lives with me. My mom, just the last year, around this time, passed away. But when you, when you recognize that, you know, this is just a journey, and you are blessed to experience everything. Just don't be be present, and don't get like wrapped around in possessing as jealousy, greed, or anything. And if you can manage yourself, that it takes time. Uh, I've been lucky, maybe it just was there for me and whatnot, you know. But if you practice, everyone can get it. And if it's not, I mean, I'm not against books, and books are good. If you can get 
whoever is good at it, I was never good at reading it, so uh, I just <laughs> did it differently, and it came to me very easily, I think so. That's great. Yeah. And great I think so, so intention is the key. I mean, if you have great intention that, you know, I want to take care of the other person first, it'll happen. I know you don't need to make more than X amount of to uh, be happy, you know, and, and when you can satisfy somebody else, then you're already happy yourself, you know. And that's why we make money, because if anyone's making money, uh, I guarantee you they're not keeping themselves first, their kids, their wife, their girlfriend. Uh, maybe they, they should give it to first to mom and dad, but, you know, um, this, they go normally this route. I would start from mom, dad, and then go the other way. <laughs> so. That's awesome. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't want to take yours. No, no, here it is. I mean, I guess all of it's yours, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, here it is. Taste it, taste it. That one's mixed with water, so, cheers. you know. It's cheers, 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 cheers. Hey, <laughs> I want to see your expression when oh, you wait, 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 drink. Oh, you, oh my God, yes, are yes, you yes. feeling? Are no. you feeling that it's smooth? There is no added, there is no added water. So if you want to add water, then you will know. That is smooth. If now say it in front of the camera, uh -huh. really slowly. It is so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. But I can, I can but, this. but this is a, see bourbon, to make what bourbon is, they have to add uh, artificial flavor and sugar. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this one, we haven't added anything else. It's just a, yeah. all 100% blue agave. Hey, you know what, we're just gonna pass Thanks. these around. So if you guys want a sample, here. You know what? Uh, you might wanna add safe. some water too, especially Blanco. So are hey. they, what are the different? The one you had, it was Anyaho. So this is aged. The reposado is aged. The blanco is not aged, that's but it's still that's smooth. That's lightly aged. I think it's within one to two months, or is blanco's right after. Right, right, right fresh. Oh, uh, okay. I have a question. Sure. Yeah. Um, you mentioned you have uh, hair products or hair products. Um, what are the other products that you have that you can sell? So, uh, I mean, perfect person asking it. You're an African American. Your hair is so hard to manage. I am Indian. My hair was a little thicker, not as thicker as you, as curlier, not as curly as you. And any product I use doesn't give me a satisfaction, you know? And I don't feel that it's, it's making my hair uh, softer or like, you know, I don't like the gel, I put it in hard, I wanna have. Uh, so I always, I've been working for 11 years to find what's right. So it was a funny story when I was talking to chemist first time, I want this in my product, I want this in my product, this. So he said, are you chemist? I said, no. He said, then why are you telling me? And why are you, if you're gonna hire me, why? I says, listen, you went to college, you want to study, I do respect, without you I cannot do anything. But if you take my input, and if, let's see where we go. I mean, the worst thing, you can charge me an hourly and I will lose my money, you know? <laughs> so uh, we tried together, after the result came in, uh, we became a very good friend and he said, Wow, and I say, it's somebody thought about first shampoo when he become, it wasn't like came from somebody text from the other world, you know. Somebody practice and put this, this, this together and the experience, it wasn't like in book or chemist, you know. The chemist, you have to study chemist and somebody did research for how to be a chemist, right? So, and I, I'm not trying to go first, but I, nothing pleased me. So this was like a very nice, and if something pleased me was $60, $80, 100 I wanted to make sure that um, I give a little less than that price and I can I have enough room to discount uh, loyal customers and like that. Yeah, you want to make sure it was like worth it, you know? Yeah, everybody Profits enjoys it. Yeah. It, it was more passion, I love doing yeah. it. I have not put too much time to sell on it, but you know, we're selling decent, but not as much as it should. And just to jump on that, where can we find these products? Uh, we are in exclusive, a lot of boutique and online, so Argan Cocoa. So basically my product is all organic argan oil and organic coconut oil. So the name is argan, A-R-G-N, C-O-C-O, cocoa. So to mix.com, so argancoco.com. It's a pretty neat name, you know. Name says itself. So uh, if you guys want to use it, you can use cocoa loyal as a code. It'll give you 80% off. It's 80, man. It's a great deal. Just it's a friends and family. <laughs> oh, well, now it's going to be, you know. Uh, well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna post this everywhere. Not, not like eighty percent, everyone. Let's go. <laughs> Just well, okay, we'll blow that out. Well, we'll well out. no, no, that's okay. We'll keep it for one year and then we'll change it. Yeah, of you know, course, code, of you know. course. Um, yeah. Does anyone have like another question? I have another question. Yeah, sure. Or, um, you mentioned that you have a lot of 
you mentioned that you, know, you came here very young, and obviously, I mean, you've built a lot of success, a lot of, uh, you know, with, with, the, with the tequila, with, you know, restaurants, with, you know, being founder and CEO. How were you when you were young? Like, what's, how was Nick Patel when he was in high school to, that helped you, I guess, be molded to this? Well, uh, up to seventh grade, I was like very bad student. I don't listen to teacher. I walk away from my class. Um, my present, uh, my, I, I fill up myself. My dad, my, they send it back to home, make sure dad signed that are you good or not. I used to sign for my dad and like, you know, I was just uh, not a good student. But then my, my, my aunt came from US and she goes, listen, if you want to come to your ass, and if you've got to have good education, you've got to do this, and you're bright, you're smart, why don't you put your heart in it, why mine? So suddenly from barely having like, you know, pass, almost all grades are F, and suddenly next uh, semester, I was almost all A and the best in class. So teacher thought, what this guy did, did he steal somebody's you know, <laughs> um, exam or not? But it's just putting your heart again. So uh, when you put your heart, you can do anything you want to do, right? Thank you, Good, uh, great question. Oh, I saw that you had oh, your, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think it was kind of interesting. Um, you know, I've heard of Hollywood before. I tan at LA Tan. Awesome. Um, Hopefully you're getting I good love, experience. I love, I am. Um, He's like, tell I, me about it. <laughs> I, Well, as I said, that I, I'm not a good cook, but I, I, I know how to put together good people. Mm -hmm. And I think if you mm -hmm. look at uh, uh, Taco Maya, yeah. and if you look at Yelp Review, uh, it's like up the roof. We opened up Schamburg location uh, February 7th, or 1st. And this year? We, yeah, this year. Oh, wow. We didn't even spend dollar on marketing. and. Uh, and, and, and second weekend, we were running out on Sunday because we get like two times a week delivery. So whatever we get Thursday, we ran out of food like most of them. You know, so now we have to do three times delivery from U.S. food and Cisco. So uh, uh, it's just a uh, people. A lot of people follow me. You know, uh, and Schamburg happened to be a lot of uh, people well, knows me. From the other businesses, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, but but then I have I have great team members. Like as I said, whoever works with me, they're not working for me. I they're kind of team and partner. So since you know hospitality, if you ever want to build your own restaurant, we can do it together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, you mentioned right now that you you know, you know that you work with people, right? That you know you create your team. When creating your team, what kind of people are you looking for? That. You know, I, I have given so many shots, like, you know, I had maybe 200 partners. Okay. So a lot of time you don't find the best one, right? So when you don't find best one, you just say, you know, it's like a, it's like a, every day is not the same day. And so every day you meet a new person is not the same, but you don't take any regret. One or two things that pro anybody comes in your life, even the worst person, give you one or two things positive, keep that one and move on to the second one. Because if you keep, if you remember what he did wrong, then you're wasting your energy, you know? You just want to move forward to what, with that, whatever you saw, one or two, what you can add that and next person and do it. So human is very hard to predict. And you know, when we work with him, like, you know, it's a, it's a very rare, I mean, and just take it for some time, you know, like I tell people in personal life, marriage, right? Everybody married and sometimes, I would say 40, 50% get separate, right? And I said, don't dislike, because it was your life, it was your selection. You enjoyed maybe two years, five years, ten years, and after that, no reason to dislike your own selection or your own time. It's it's end of the day when you die, the ten year was your years, not somebody else. You brought them in part of your life, right? That was well said. Does anyone else have you? Yeah. I think uh, Peyton, piggybacking off of what you said, um, I think like being an entrepreneur myself and like dealing with my peers is very 
hard to partner because it's a, uh, it's like a, how can I say this? I mean, it's like a pain contest. You know, everybody's trying to like show how I, I know this much more. I know this. Explain how like partnering uh, with people. How much? How much of it important it is to have your stuff together as an individual before partnering with somebody? So, so like. I'll give you an example, like, if I'm here to take photos of you in your wedding dress, but when I get there, you're not ready. You know, you're pay paying me for this hour, you're not ready. How can we accomplish what we have going on? I did my part in the background, mm -hmm. prepping, doing my stuff. Once again, being an individual, having your stuff together at a certain extent to be able to partner with somebody. So, if you're saying a partnering, in a business, right? Um, if you're talking about photography, yeah. I'll go in different. Yeah. But if you're doing a business, I recommend that, you know, whatever you want to do it first, you put your time, your energy, bring it to the level where it's successful, right? When it's successful, people follow success, right? So uh, then they come to you. First, you have to say, it's all my risk, my time, my energy, my money. And if you put all everything risk at yours and you build some point, and when the people see success, they join, and then your intention got to keep up that I want to bring him success, you know. Then uh, they still don't listen, even though they don't know anything. Once they know 80, 70 percent what you taught, then they want to tell you more than what you know. But that time, you want to listen to them and say, listen, let's play my role and your role, right? Yeah. You join me for a reason. And then, so it's just like a constant communication. So, so it's never just Every day we, we learn. Make millions together, but then I might learn about another industry somewhere that we could exploit or uh, mm -hmm. go into. And then you're just like, but no, like I helped you start, like even get money. So how could you tell me? So mm -hmm. that's what, basically what you're saying. Right? I think right. I could kind of like piggyback on that. So like, let's say collaborating, like that. I collaborate with Fred. Um, I do modeling for fun, because right. you know, or like do um, product shoots or anything like that. That's a lot of fun. And I have people that come through, maybe they're not at 80%. They had a crazy night, they're <laughs> drunk, they're supposed to take some product photos of like something, and I'm passionate for it. I just have to deal with that moment. Do you know what I mean? If I only have one day, if I only have two hours with that person, no worries, I'm pissed, yes, but I gotta keep it cool. I'm like, hey, no worries. Let's see if we can, tr hey, sober up. Hey, drink some water. We can do this, right? You got a good camera, all right? Make sure it's all focused. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's, you know, and try to, time's short. Time's really short. It's, you know it's, what I mean? It's like I wish a, you were there when I had clients, because in the middle band sometimes. Because, yeah, it sucks. We, yeah. I, trust me, like, Fred, me. components are all yeah. at once. And, like, with videography, like, time's everything. You know, like right now, because we're live, time's everything. So it's like we want to make sure we're, that's why I love partnering up uh, with Fred, legit. You amazing, you amazing, like seriously. <laughs> like I, I couldn't, I need to be surrounded with amazing people, people that can push. So great example, or great mentors, boom, Nick Patel. And then yeah, good people like yourselves trying to learn and trying to, you know, branch out. You know, we just need to be surrounded by that. And hey, time's precious, so. If someone's not at 100%, no worries. Just roll with it, see what you can do. Hey, have a nice day. I probably won't work with you again. That's it. Move on. That's 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 how I would handle it. One follow-up question. Uh, uh, I, I deal with entrepreneurs in, in my business sometimes, and, and a lot of times the, the biggest struggle is how one deals with failure or perceived failure and persistence, right? How do you persist beyond the first failure, the second failure, the third, and every iteration after that? Um, because you've had, it seems like a dozen or more businesses yeah. uh, in varied uh, industries and genres. Can you talk about how you personally see failure and persistence and how that's 
you've gotten to where you are with that mindset? I, I, I believe in being persistent and consistent, but sometimes I believe that there is a gift to understand what's realistically you can do it or you cannot do it. So I give you an example, like when I wanted to study, my old friend become doctor. So peer pressure, I could have, oh no, no, I want to be a doctor. I would, be a, I would have wasted four years in college for no reason because it took me hour to read one page. You know, I could, and I, I, I couldn't even remember because it's in English language, right? So you gotta ex accept what's gonna work. A lot of people uh, go with their dream and passion, you know? And the dream and passion is very important, but with dream, is it realistic? Nothing, like, you know, and then work for it, but put time limit, you know? Or work two together on site, you know? So my video industry, only reason I did video, uh, because I, when I was 14, I wrote a script, and I love video. So I wanted to originally make movie, right? And if I want to make movie, I don't want to go wait in line on Hollywood when they're going to take my script, uh, or India, Bollywood, you know, I don't want to depend on somebody else, my success. So I say, why not? Uh, and to learn movie, I was watching on a month, whatever I earned a little bit, one movie 10 times. So that means $3 times $30 I used to spend on a, one movie to just to understand direction, the writing, dialogues, and everything because I'm connected, right? So I say, if I can get 1,000 customers like me, I'll make $30,000 a month. So that was my realistic calculation. It wasn't only a dream. If I would have gone to make a movie, maybe all my life I would be standing in line, you know? Uh, and uh, still I would be like nothing where I want to get. So you gotta, uh, I, I, I think I'm very, very lucky to understand what realistically will work or not. I get it, you know. Some people just uh, run like close their eyes and the, after dream. They want to open up, they should take positive people's, few people's opinions, you know, before they do something, you know. It sounds too like you're very open-minded and attuned to your life experience and looking for opportunity. Right, you looking for opportunity, yeah. Opportunity going, holy shit, if I'm spending this money, I'm not unique. Other people might spend this money. You know what I mean? Uh, and if Just I being connected. Yeah, and if I can get thousand customers, it was realistic. Like you know, within twenty thousand population in the city of Chicago neighborhood, you open one stores, you don't have two miles radius, bound to come there, right? Yeah. So it's all Great. logic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great question. Maybe the practice doing it or whatever, but like I wake up seven o'clock and I have best thought coming in my mind, you know, automatically, and I start working with new ideas or I work who I need to tell, and I don't use computers, and still I can connect with my all team and partners. So, and then when I go to sleep, I sleep in maybe three seconds or five seconds. The reason is entire day I'm not chasing anything. I think chasing is a bad. You can make the goal that I want to achieve this, 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 and I want to achieve because I want to, again, uh, my intention to make my customer happy, my partner happy, and I make sure I pay bills and then automatically come. So if you look at a small, small before like you, then if you fix those, then it'll come to you, you know? So um, meditation, I say people try to control their thoughts, right? If you want to go to sleep and say, I want to meditate, mind doesn't listen that way. You got to tell your mind, I am nothing. Yet I'm everything, like you know, I'm entire universe. Not only Bill Gates or <laughs> Apple, not in an arrogant way, but I am part of the entire universe and the entire universe is one, so I am the universe, right? But I'm nothing, when you say to your mind a few times and try to shut down your thoughts and slowly but surely it comes down, you know? Mm -hmm. I think. Life. Did you do that? 
I, 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 I done a lot of social. I work out almost every day, but I don't, I don't have time to work out more than 15 minutes. So I do logic, like my friends uh, get lifetime, my house, most of member are lifetime fitness, or they wanna, they wanna wait, or oh, I wanna go to this class. You're not gonna make it because your life is so hectic. So don't depend on that. Uh, so in my office at home, I have like, you know, uh, push up that uh, uh, set. So if I don't have too much time, I'll do that. And I have uh, dumbbells, so I'll do dumbbells, or I'll do the crunch. And while I'm doing it, I'm connected work too, you know, so. Workout is easy. Uh, eating food, I always walk around with, I, whatever I grab, I back like, I put it in my bag like maybe five, six different product, whatever I decided I wanna eat. Could be one salad, one beans, and I'm vegetarian, so uh, I put like five, six different, and um, I give enough rest uh, for my body, like it's called intermittent fasting, so if you do fasting more than 12 to 14 hours, you know. So I'm working on creating what is the most important for your body, brain, and health-wise, a good uh, ingredients that you should take it, and that should be organic raw. So I'm working on that when I make that. I wanna pass on whatever I'm working on to other people's. So my, I'm right now not looking, uh, and happen to be the guy who creates, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, I helped him once, so even if I want to start with minimum quantity, like you know, maybe um, 5,000 units, he'll create for me because when he had a uh, factory, when he needed to build, um, me and him were connected somehow and I helped him. And it was 15 years or 20 years back when the organic was just beginning. So the relationship matters and when, you, when I helped him, I never knew that I'll be doing now this because I'm recognizing your body when you wake up more, uh, real food you give it to and uh, nutrition, it works longer period and then, you know, because it's ready to observe, you know, after 14 hours or six, 12 hours break. You don't want to eat some sugars and carbs and you know, all bad things, you know. But that's so hard. Like I, but once had, you, like I literally had two donuts today, you know. But I can eat donuts <laughs> after, I, I do eat carbs. It's not that I don't eat a donut here and there, I eat sweet, but I'm saying after maybe uh, once you put it in right things, so your body's already right. got it, and now you just, mm -hmm. I mean, I do eat a uh, donut here and there, not every day, but. Uh, it's on the record now. Yeah, I do. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing wrong to have ev anything and everything balanced, you know, yeah, and timing right, you know, and, uh, timing means I'm saying after two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight o'clock, I eat mm -hmm. that, anything. Going the first meal is important, I think so, you know? Oh, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. um, going, kind of going off of uh, your question. So I am terrible at sleeping. Like, seriously, like, it takes me to 20 minutes to 30 minutes to go to sleep. And I literally have all these things, like, what do I have to do tomorrow? I have to do this, I have to do that. And I can't sleep. And that's such a problem. So you mentioned to kind of um, think of how you are everything and so you are nothing at the same time. So you don't pressure yourself, you know. You don't pressure that I don't want to think about it, I don't want to think about work. Just tell yourself that this is my time, ready to go to sleep so I can rejuvenate. Just tell different story to your mind, you know, and until, practice. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, practice. And I really hope it works. Yeah, just, just say I'm nothing. When you try to say you're nothing, means you're, you're I, like I say, I'm not Nick Patel, I'm not this. This is just a body, this will go away one day. So mm. what am I, who am I? What am I doing here? And just when you try to connect with those uh, yeah. more higher, not um, like, you know, materialistic thought, mm -hmm. then you feel peace quicker, you know? Yeah, in other words, you are very woke, but that's unwoke, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Uh -huh. All right, anyways. <laughs> Anyone, final questions? Yeah, I guess one. Yeah. And I'm just starting out. So it seems like where you are, you figured out a lot but you're still venturing into new areas. So as you continue to venture into new areas, what challenges, even with all your experience, do you face, personally, like in business? Like now, whatever I do, I do it due to passion because I got enough success, so I don't take it as a challenge. I'm, I'm doing out of my passion, I wanna do it. So I'm not looking reward, success or not a success. If I'm looking success, it'll be reward. And I'm saying if the way I think, I have a lot of friends, very successful, more successful than me. They don't do the way I do it. 
they do it hardcore business way and it works for them too but they do like my peace and my lifestyle so they when i talk to them they say nick how do you do this how do you can you sleep this so they do like a lot of things about me but their success did come without uh, being like so spiritual i wouldn't say business time you have to be very alert you want to make sure somebody's not taking advantage of you and uh, i'm not saying judge but you know immediately you got to know how to go because uh, at point i was a little bit too much spiritual and uh, I fall asleep on the wheels and I lost a lot of money. And I'm not mine, my people who trusted me too, so I feel bad. So I, I, I keep my mind that when I'm working, I'm alert and alert, being alert all the time is great, all the time. Like, you know, uh, even like when I'm saying I'm meditating, I'm alert that I, I'm nothing. And if you tell your mind you're alert, I'm nothing, then you can meditate, right? When I'm working, I say, okay, I have responsibility, I gotta do this. And you be alert about it, but not by pressure that, you know, Am I going to be successful? Am I going to fail? Fail when you think that you're putting doubts and fears. You know what I'm saying? It and that doesn't take you to the next level. You know. But I mean, I haven't experienced any challenges because I don't take anything as challenge. You know, I just go with the flow. You know, and when the flow doesn't allow me, then I go a different flow. You know, so you change your wind. Go with the wind the way it comes. You know, and uh, not fight too much. You know, fight a little bit. You know. To win, but I not like too much. That. Yeah. You like you really, you know, just yeah. You really just go with the flow. If you really like something, you kind of just yeah. If yeah. you want it, all right, cool, I'll get it, and that's beautiful. I think I'm gonna end it with one more question. So, what does it mean to be an entrepreneur for you? Like that word that pops into your head. I think so. It gives you satisfaction. Uh, surrounding people make happy, and you like what you like. I mean, I do what I like and love. So to me, it's not a work, and people should do always, whatever they do, uh, they gotta do. The best friend, I tell people, your best friend is your health and work. Because if you can enjoy your work, uh, it's a, you will never get bored. Uh, even if you're married and you can love someone, it, it could be the same. You guys are gonna, here and there, are gonna not like each other. But if you like your work, there is nothing in the middle comes to you, because it's your work, your connection and more yeah. connection with your work, it's beautiful, you know? Well, thank you so much for being here. It's been a pleasure, I love you so much. Thank and you. Guys, if you guys wanna get involved with Entra, ask me, I'll stick around, we're still gonna network, and we're out of tequila, so we're not gonna keep drinking, but yeah, thank you. Thank you.